Hello there, everybody. This is Liz King 1015 2011 here with a Minecraft video showing you how to build a quote unquote infinite renewable bamboo field furnace, the very thing you see right here behind me. Um, I'm going to do this in creative to save time. However, it is a very useful tool if you're smelting a lot or have a large world or world with a lot of friends. This way, instead of looking for fuel most of the time or creating charcoal or other things like that, um, this thing will take care of itself using uh, bamboo as the fuel source and the hoppers up above will uh, funnel them into the uh, furnace. Of course, once the um, observers um, catch the bamboo at a certain height, use the pistons to push it in. It's also looseless because under the grass where the bamboo grows is a minecart uh, with hopper and any bamboo that falls onto the grass gets picked up by that and thrown into the hoppers below it. So, anywho, let's get started on this, shall we? So, instead of just the breaking that thing down and building it from scratch, we're going to build an exact duplicate here. And you don't have to um, use the same blocks that I'm using. Basically, I'm trying to go with something basic here. However, you can make it look nicer if you want to. And if you're playing on survival, peaceful, or just out of personal preference, you don't have to use light up blocks or anything like that. I do it because I intend this um, thing to be built in survival hard. Now, the thing you need to remember is that this is going to uh, take a lot of iron to build due to the amount of hoppers used. So if you're only going to smelt once or twice of this, it is probably not worth investing the amount of iron that you're going to invest into this as need it as you're talking five iron ingots per hopper which gets pretty expensive pretty quick however like i said if you're in a large world where you're smelting a lot or you have a lot of friends or it's a large world this thing will definitely come in handy and bear in mind you can raise it higher you could uh build it out more um basically so you could hook more bamboo up to it to be funneled to more um hoppers to be funneled into the furnace for a larger capacity. That's up to you, though. Um, like I said here, just using the basic blocks, uh, cobblestone, you, you can use nicer looking blocks. It doesn't have to be this basic. So, same, like I said, once again, the same thing with the glowstone. But as you can tell, um, they get, it could get expensive pretty quick in glowstone too if you decide to use that sea lanterns I wouldn't recommend personally because uh, that could get even way more expensive I mean unless you're going for that particular look anywho the next step we're going to do uh, after we put in these next set of hoppers is we're going to hook up a small rail system for the mine cart with hopper to make this design looseless we're also going to put two hoppers in up above the, the furnace there, but we'll explain that one later. Also, you should you don't have to use iron bars here, it's personal preference. You leave it open, you use glass, whichever. I'm using iron bars because so I think it, it makes a basic design look a little better. But now, back here, we're going to put in some blocks of redstone. And we're going to put in a glowstone to light it up, but we're not putting glowstones on the ends where the rail itself is going to be. We're going to use um, cobblestone to ensure that, that the minecart functions properly and doesn't get stuck. Because for some weird reason, it conflicts with glowstone. Because reasons, if you will. There we go. It's functioning properly. Now let's keep building this thing higher. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I should mention too. If you don't like the sound of the minecarts, this thing could be a little noisy from a close distance to just something else to keep in mind like I said doing this in creative to save time actually it's going to take longer for you to build if you're doing this from scratch now uh, we're going to put down the uh, grass and now we're going to install the um, the system that makes this work we just put in the bamboo we put in our pistons Next, we're going to put in our observers, but know how I put in the observers? This makes it a lot easier, so you're not fiddling around with them. Seems a little backwards, but it works. And now you're going to need to hook those uh, observers up, up to the pistons, and we're going to use uh, redstone here for that. 
So just like that, we're hooking it up, which is actually very nice. Now we're going to enclose this once again. Like I said, you can use different blocks to make it look a little different if you want. You know, your interpretation of creativity is different. As long as at the end of the day, this thing works as it's supposed to. That's all that matters, really, I guess. We're also going to add a roof. Because normally something like this would probably be built on the mountainside or underground. I mean, I don't know how it would look out in the open, personally, but... You can try it if you want. Not gonna knock you for it. Now, uh, next thing, I'm gonna go for the glass here. We're just gonna use clear glass, basic. Don't have to do anything fancy with color. I mean, once again, you can if you want. That goes back to the whole creativity thing. Um, we're also gonna wanna make a platform to get up here. So, base reason being for that is uh, this type of furnace essentially indirectly turns bone meal into fuel. And what I mean by that is you, you can use bone meal to have the bamboo grow at a faster rate than normal, which in turn gets knocked into the uh, hoppers. And, and, and it's great because you just keep pumping out uh, more and more bamboo faster and faster with the more bone meal you have. So essentially bone meal indirectly becomes fuel with this type of uh, furnace system. Also... It also doubles up as a bamboo farm, if you will. It's a relatively slow one, unless you're using bone meal to speed it up. Put the door... Oh yeah, by the way, put the door on with it facing like that. So that way, when the, um, the pistons shoot, you don't lose any um, bamboo growing. And I'm throwing bamboo into each to show you that it works. I'm also going to throw it on the, the grass as well to show you that the minecart with hopper is picking it up and putting it into the chest below. But yes, that door must be like that, so you don't lose anything. Now I'm going to show you how this works by using bow mail to speed this up. Rather efficient, if you ask me. Like I say, you make this thing bigger, uh, taller, with more hoppers, more capacity, or longer for more bamboo to fall into the hoppers. Now, uh, basically, the reason why I put the two hoppers right out above the furnace earlier so you can do bulk smelting. What I mean by that is um, basically you just drop larger loads into it instead of mainly loading the stuff in one at a time. Basically this works great if you have uh, zombie grinders or zombie to drown converters because you know, you're know you going to be dropping a lot of iron tools, um, gold armor, um, chain armor, especially, you know, and if it's from zombie mob grinders, it's always going to be damaged. However, if it's dropping off a drown because they convert to zombie from zombies, it's gonna normally it'll be a hundred percent, and they drop everything that they have when they convert to a drown, unless you hit them, in which it'll be damaged. But basically, the idea of this is we're going to um, drop the, we're gonna drop these gold items in as if we got them from a mob, from the, you know, like I said, a mob grinder. Just an example here and. Basically, instead of manually loading the furnace, it's going to cook this stuff for us. Four bamboo per item smelted, of course. That's always important to uh, remember. But yeah, just keep an eye on your bamboo in case in case the, your fuel is low with this thing, because otherwise uh, you may find this thing getting stuck in limbo, because normally with this type of design, unless you expand it out, when those... Uh, pistons activate you're it's gonna be very rare if you get four or five bamboo dropped at one shot it's usually gonna be like one two or three pieces of bamboo so it'll get stuck in limbo if you will something important to remember but like i said very useful very useful indeed and don't forget to add an ender chest as well this way if uh your friend's at his base and he wants to come over and use your uh renewable bamboo field furnace and needs a lighter empty inventory he just loads stuff into his ender chest at his place come over to your smelter, get the stuff out of the chest, and throw it into the hoppers. Very nice, very efficient design, and I hope it's something you all enjoy. Like I said, hopefully you use it in larger worlds, use it to help out your friends, that type of thing. So, yeah, this is basically it. This is the design in its most basic form. You could, like I said, you can make that plat, you expand the platform, Modify it to your liking. Do whatever you like. 
I'm hoping that this uh, helped you out. So. This is Liz King 1015 2011 signing off, and hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to build a renewable bamboo field furnace. Quote unquote infinite.